What's going on YouTube? I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this time we're going to be reviewing Creed 2. Uh, this is going to be one of my shorter reviews. Uh, to just be honest, there's not really that much to say about this film. I don't have a lot to say about it, and I'm, to be honest, I don't think any critic really would have much to say about it, uh, especially if you've seen any of the other movies. Uh, this franchise really is just that. Uh, so I'll start off by saying that, you know, I am a fan of the Rocky movies. Uh, I grew up watching them. Uh, I've seen them all. <laughs> Rockies 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then Rocky 6, which is Rocky Balboa. And then I saw the original Creed, and now today Creed 2. Uh, I enjoyed pretty much all of them. Uh, you know, I thought they were all decent, you know, some better than others, you know, Rocky V, uh, universally known, was pretty terrible, but, you know, every film uh, had uh, iconic characters uh, that we still even talk about today, you know, Rocky 1 and 2, of course, had, you know, it was just building the franchise, and then had uh, Apollo Creed uh, 3 and 4 at Clever Lang, and then Ivan Drago, uh, Five was pretty forgettable. Uh, six was really a sense of returning Rocky to the, the franchise, uh, to its former glory. Uh, right in terms of just as Rocky Five really kind of left things in a bad, bad slate. Uh, and then they did a series kind of reboot, if you will, uh, with Creed, with the Creed movies, starring Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan as Creed's, Apollo Creed's son. Uh, so I really enjoyed the first Creed. Uh, I thought it was a solid undertaking and, you know, a definitely a good passing of the torch uh, from Rocky to Creed, you know, given that Sylvester Stallone is older now. Uh, it was definitely a good way to pass the torch on to someone younger that they'd be able to continue to make movies with. And then this film, Creed 2 follows in that same vein, you know, where Creed 1 left off. And the reason I say that I don't have much to say, and uh, if you know, like I said, anything about these movies, uh, this would be, this would be actually the eighth film uh, in the Rocky franchise now. And much like, you know, any film franchise, when you get to that many films, uh, mostly you see it in terms of like, uh, slasher movies, uh, slasher horror movies, uh, you know what you're getting into. Uh, by that time, you know, there's very few thrills or, you know, new things uh, to kind of surprise you or anything like that. Uh, it's pretty much by the book, you know what you're going to get. You know, once you go to see a Michael Myers movie, uh, you know, a Halloween movie, or you go to see a Jason movie or a Freddy Krueger movie, you know what you're going to get. Uh, not to say that that's a bad thing, you know, it works, uh, you know, it hasn't gotten stale or old in the terms of, you know, they pump out too many of them in a short time frame, you know, so you enjoy them. Uh, Michael B. Jordan is a charismatic actor, uh, you like to see uh, Sylvester Stallone, you know, still in it, and then they brought back uh, Drago, and then you see his son, um, so it works. Uh, and the, the Rocky films, I say they continue to work, you know, they're enjoyable to watch. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I've liked about them. Uh, I definitely think uh, you're going to see this movie, you know what you get into. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the films, I still think you can enjoy it, uh, just as a solid boxing movie. In fact, if you haven't seen any of the other ones, I think you might actually enjoy it a bit more, uh, just because... You know, this won't be a story that you've seen, you know, as often as if you would have if you're a big fan of the films. But all in all, it was a solid undertaking. Uh, I definitely give it a good, solid 7 out of 10. Uh, definitely worth seeing uh, uh, in theaters. Uh, you really get the full effect, you know, of the action, the boxing scenes. You really feel like you're in the ring. Uh, so it's definitely worth seeing in theaters, uh, and with the films that are dropping this week, uh, I think it's definitely a great choice if it's something you want to go see.
uh, that's all I got to say about for this one. Like I said, once again, I say it's very straightforward. You know what you're getting into. And this one shouldn't be a big surprise. Uh, you, you would definitely get what you came for, uh, and you'll enjoy it. All right, that's all I've got for this one. Once again, if you like what you see, do you agree with me, disagree, leave me a comment. Uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, if you uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want to make more of these, uh, I'm going to continue to turn it out about, you know, once a week, possibly more if I see more films. But once again, thanks you guys for watching. You know, I appreciate the support. And I'll see you for the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great week, everyone.